from Atlanta, Georgia, welcome to Fearfully and Wonderfully Me, a podcast for women on leadership and life skills with Rhea Story. Rhea shares powerful life and leadership principles, helping you maximize your potential and become the woman God created you to be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode on sacrifice and success. You know, this is something that I think most of us um, at some level, even subconsciously or or maybe just intuitively um, understand. I mean, it was it was something we didn't really think about, but but something we kind of naturally understood that um, if we wanted to achieve something, it meant sacrificing something else. So, for example, if we know we want to um, be healthier or lose weight, we've got to sacrifice um, maybe eating some of our favorite treats or, or especially this time of year, sacrifice some of those holiday cookies. Um, uh, and, you know, when you were in high school or, or college, you knew that if you wanted to get good grades, you had to sacrifice some of your free time on the weekends um, to study. Or, you know, if you want to advance in your career, it might mean that you need to sacrifice and, and go back to college and, and get another degree or a certification. So I think at some level, those of us um, are, are where you are today, you've you've applied this principle at some level to be successful in where you are in your life today, personally or professionally. But when was the last time you sat down and you thought about where do you want to go in your life? Where do you want to be this time next year or in five years or in 10 years from now? Where, where do you want to be long term? And what do you need to sacrifice right now to help you get there. See, I don't think we think about that. Most of the time we kind of understood, understand if we're, if we're going to go to school or if we want good grades, we have to work harder and study, or if we want to be fitter, we've got to exercise or, you know, if we want to advance professionally, maybe it means reading a, a leadership book or developing our minds, but we don't always think about the cost of getting where we want to go in one year or five years is something here and now. And we don't really think about being intentional about what do I need to sacrifice now to get to where I want to go. We call that the success gap, the gap between where I am today and where I want to be. And it's a gap. And I need discipline to cross that gap. Because I'll tell you, the thing about sacrifice is it's never easy. It's never fun. um, And it always costs something. Now, um, Ralph Waldo Emerson speaks to this, and he says, um, for everything you have missed, you have gained something else. And for everything you gain, you lose something. You know, we don't always think about that, but there is a cost associated with just about anything that we want to achieve. If we want to do more and be more and have more, we've got to sacrifice more. So, you know, this year has been an incredible year of, of growth for me and in many different ways. One of them was just starting this podcast episode. And, um, you know, this, this whole year I've really been thinking about as I, as I want to continue to reach more people and, and really grow um, in helping people and, and reaching more people with my messages and you know, I've been a lot of spent a lot of time thinking, well, where do I want to be in in one year or five years, and what do I need to to stop doing, or what do I need to sacrifice, in order to achieve those goals, and you know, the thing about sacrifice, I'll share with you a couple of points about sacrifice and success. Number one, sacrifice is always hard because we feel the loss first. You know, when we're reaching towards something, any goal in life, whether it's personal, professional, whether it's health or wellness or more peace and harmony in life, you know, anytime we're reaching up to get something, we have to let go of something else because whatever we're holding on to is holding us back. Think about this. If you're holding on to the doorknob of the front door of your house and you're standing just outside the door, you walk out of the door and you shut the door and you lock it and you hold on to the doorknob with your right hand and with your left, you try to reach forward and leave. But as long as you're holding on to that doorknob with that right hand, you can't go very far. And until you're willing to let go 
and move forward, you're not going to be able to go. You're not going to be able to get there. You've got to be willing to let go. But the thing about the sacrifice is we always feel the loss before we get the long-term gains. Now, the second thing about sacrifice and success is it never really stops. You know, if we want to continue to grow and develop, if we want to continue to maximize our potential in life, wherever that is, it's a journey. It's not a destination that we wake up one day and we say, okay, I'm here. I can quit sacrificing now. I relate this to fitness. You know, if I want to um, get in really good shape and maybe lose a, a few extra pounds and improve my fitness ability, I got to, you know, quit eating junk food and go exercise. And we know that. But I don't get to just stop at some point. I don't get to just stop at six, in six months when I reach my fitness goal and say, okay, now I can quit exercising. Now I can quit eating healthy. No, it doesn't work like that. You see, we have to give up to go up. In the words of John Maxwell, we have to give up in order to go up. And we got to keep giving up in order to keep getting up. So it really is, it really is a, a destination. So this year has been an incredible year for, of growth for me, but I realized um, here recently that because a lot of you know, one of my passions and one of my hobbies really is teaching group fitness. But I realized that the time and energy I'm dedicating to teaching group fitness, that's a good thing in my life. It's good because, you know, I consider it just a ministry in, in a different way, inspiring people to be healthier physically. But the time and energy that I'm dedicating to that is taking away from time and energy that I could be dedicating to maybe doing more podcasts or writing more books or, or speaking more. And, you know, the thing about sacrifice and success is sometimes in life we have to let go of the good things in order to focus on the great things. And so this year has been a, a tough decision for me to realize that I need to step back um, from teaching group fitness and really focus on on some of the great things. Um, teaching group fitness is, is a good thing, and I've certainly enjoyed it. I've been teaching for more than 10 years, and it's been a big part of my empowerment and my growth and, and my journey and learning to, um, you know, take care of my own health and be proactive in a lot of different ways. But it's holding me back. And at some level, we have to decide if we really want to reach that destination or that goal in one year or five years or 10 years, wherever that is, wherever we want to be in life, it's going to cost us something in the, in the here and now in order to get there. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It simply comes down to deciding what's most important to us as individuals. Now, the thing about it is no one else can decide that for you. No one else can really define what success looks like for you in your life. You know, five years ago, it wasn't the right decision for me to, to stop teaching group fitness, and so I didn't. But we come to a point where we realize that something is holding us back, and it's a decision. Do we want to continue to move forward? And are we willing to pay the price? Because everything in life worth having is going to cost something. You know, you don't get to walk into the shopping mall and, and, and get the, the most beautiful blouse, the designer blouse that you want um, for free. You know, it doesn't work like that. And typically, the things we want the most sometimes come with the highest price tag in terms of what we have to give up. If we want to impact more people, it's going to cost us more to get there. It's going to cost us in terms of investing in ourselves, and it's going to cost us more in sacrificing some of the fun things that we might want to do, but they're just not as important to us. So it really comes down to a question of priorities based on our values. Now, as, as Christians, our values should be in a line with what God has called us to do. And that's sometimes the hard thing is realizing that if we want to focus more on what God has called us to do and more of our purpose and why we were created, sometimes that means sacrificing the fun things or the, the good things, but they're not necessarily the great things if we're, if we're not in alignment with what God has called us to do. Rick Warren speaks to this a little bit in Purpose Driven Life, and he talks about you know, our unique shape. And that is often determined by our, our spiritual level and our, our heart, our passion, our in experiences in life, because every single one of us are created 
for a specific purpose. And only we can really accomplish that. But sometimes it means being willing to step away from from other things and urgent things or maybe they're good things or important things, but they're not necessarily what's most important. And that's, I think, my, my key takeaway for today is that success starts with sacrifice. But first, we have to be willing to sacrifice before we're able to reach success. Until next time. Start increasing your influence and maximizing your potential with Rhea's audiobooks. Available at audible.com, amazon.com, and iBooks. Please visit RiaStory.com to learn about Ria's books, resources, speaking, and training programs. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.